Rebecca LaRiviere is 29 years old and the mother to five children. She's currently on maternity leave from full-time work as a carpenter. When the Mamalela Kuala mother, originally from Campbell River, gave birth six months ago to her youngest, she was startled when a hospital social worker visited her room asking questions. If I drank, if I did drugs, if I had a job, if um, where my other children were, how many kids I had, like the questions were very invasive. When the hospital social worker then contacted the Ministry of Children and Family Development, La Riviere was puzzled. It was a normal birth, full term, you know, healthy baby. My partner was there, you know, my mom was there. Like, it was a very loving environment. Her baby was never apprehended, but for La Riviere, who herself has been a foster parent, it was humiliating. It made me feel judged and ashamed. The experience made her wary and mistrustful of child welfare authorities, a common feeling among parents at this Aboriginal Friendship Centre in Surrey. Hank B and Sam Maracle are in their 30s and together have four children. None of their kids have ever been removed, but both parents survived foster care and constantly fear losing their kids. I feel like they're always on our case, like, you know, for every little thing. I was always so worried that you know, they would come and check up on me and find some excuse to take my kids away. NBC's former child advocate says Maracle has reason to worry. Aboriginal families are more likely to be targeted for investigation by child welfare authorities just by virtue of being an Aboriginal family. But changes are afoot. The federal government recently made a dramatic shift in Canada's child welfare policies. And here in BC, the government revamped its child protection laws, all with a view to substantially include Indigenous communities in child welfare decisions. It's my goal as a minister to have families think that when the social worker's coming, they're coming to them for support. They're coming to them to help them, you know, with the issues that they have, to help them keep their families together and not be afraid. Be As for here, Rebecca right? LaRiviere, yeah. she sees a bright future. I do all the hard work Our generation myself, now, we're different. We're not, we don't believe in drinking. We don't do drugs. We don't beat our children. You know, the stereotypes of what maybe at one time we were, because we did have so much healing to do and so much, you know, things that we need to work on, but we're different. Angela Sterrett, CBC News, Surrey.